What's up, Helix users, HX Stompers, and potential Podgo people, this may apply to you also. Actually, HX Effectors too. This is a video for pretty much anyone with a Line 6 product. We're talking about acoustic guitars. So, as you can see in my hands, not my typical six string here, I am playing this beautiful Epiphone J200 acoustic guitar, which I'm actually giving away along with Jessica Lynn and American Musical Supply. I'll link the giveaway below in the description and stuff. It'd be really cool if you guys entered to win it. Again, thanks to American Musical Supply for that and for sponsoring this guitar. This is the actual guitar I'm gonna be giving away. So I thought that it would be a great idea to showcase um, how I go about making a Helix preset for an acoustic guitar. So let's go to HX Edit and get right into it. All right, so first up in the chain, I have this tube comp. And I mean, it's a really simple chain. I always find that when you're plugging in an acoustic guitar that has a preamp in it, this has the Fishman, I think it's called Sonicore, um, pickup system in it and sounds pretty good as it is. You typically don't wanna do a ton of stuff. So really, all I have is three, I have two EQs on and the compressor. And you see very minimal settings, like very, very minimal stuff because you want to let the preamp do its thing and you don't want to color it too much. Another thing I added in here is the retro reel, which just, it just makes it sound cooler. It just, it's like Frank's Red Hot. I put that on everything. The retro reel just works on every preset that you could ever pick. And I got my mod chorus echo and I got some reverb. Let's hear what this sounds like directly. So right now I'm going to bypass all of the EQs and all the effects. This is just with reverb on. And now I'm gonna kick on the two EQs and the compressor, again, very minimal settings, but you'll hear the difference that it makes. And that's pretty much it. Whenever I need to plug an acoustic guitar and I always try to keep it super simple, super easy. So that is the basic bare bones of the preset. Let's now kick on that retro reel. without the retro reel. So it just adds that little bit of, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, the tapeness to it, that just, I think it sounds great. And then I got my mod chorus echo. Pretty modest settings, and it's set to a quarter inch tap, so. And something that I would highly suggest that you guys do is utilize the path B here and include a microphone. I was going to do that, but it kind of defeats the purpose of plugging this into the Helix because my mic will be different from your mic, etc. It would get too messy. So using this as a bass preset and then blending in some microphone audio, let's see what happens. I'm gonna, I'll try to blend in some of the audio that I'm getting from these mics and hear what a difference it makes when you start plugging in the, uh, the real mics and blending them in. So 
So on this preset, I also have two snapshots. One is set for strumming and one set for fingers. I'm gonna drop my pick and I'm gonna give you guys some of my poor finger style playing to uh, hear what this sounds like. So now I'll switch to something I'm a little bit more comfortable with. I'll get my flat pick and here we sound like there. I do still have this on the strumming snapshot because um, I guess when I pick harder, it keeps the high end and then my fingers lose a little bit of high end. It's a thing. Try it out and let me know what you guys think. All right, so that is my main acoustic guitar preset. Again, on this Epiphone J200 that I'm giving away, check out the links below if you want a chance to win. This preset will be available for free for you to download. It'll be on stevesterlachi.com. I'll also link that below. Hope you guys enjoy it. Give me some feedback in this video. Let me know what you guys think of this. With your acoustic setup, I'm curious how this will translate over different pickups and different, um, different body types. So let me know, give me your feedback. And if you have made it this far, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one.